always say that the Career Center is a hidden jewel that we have so many offerings and opportunities for the students in Sumter County. I, I've also changed that to include that we have a competitive advantage for our students over here in that they will have learned the skills necessary um, to compete in the job market, but they will also have the skills necessary to go to college. Now I know you've heard the term career and college ready. That is our goal to ensure that our students are career and college ready. I worked really hard in school with grades and everything and I realized that the Career Center had a good opportunity to get a hands-on experience and better, you know, my grades helped with that, being able to get into this program. So that's when I decided that the Career Center, since they offered the program, was a path that I wanted to take and pursue. Being here I can get the certification that would take me longer if I was in college or since I'm in high school I'm getting the degree or the certification quicker than I would if I was just in a regular class at my home school. I'm in the Integrated Production Technology, the IPT class. It's a class that teaches you mechanical and electrical engineering. So like there's a lot of applications in the real world that it can do because like I already have a job set up at Beck and Dixon BD for a computer engineer. Solenoid valves and like pneumatics and all those different type of like systems we're learning in my class right now. So like as soon as I turn 18, I already have a job there knowing pretty much what I'm doing already. The end of my sophomore year, we moved down here from Fort Wayne, Indiana. So when I started in this school, I was actually ahead. I came down here with 24 credits and I only needed 24 to graduate. So I was actually ahead, so I had a couple open blocks. And I was, just came in here and originally I wasn't even into aerospace engineering at all. It was just something to kind of pass my time. And then as I got into it, as I further progressed into it, the more I fell in love with it, the more I fell in love with how planes work, what flight is, and actually getting hands on with the project and being able to make something happen. And I had no idea what an airfoil was. I didn't know what lift was, drag, or anything like that. I mean, I knew, I've heard the words before, but I didn't actually know what they were and what roles they played in an aircraft or in a rocket or things like that. And once I got in here and I learned that, it built my basis on that and then it made me understand what I actually want to do in life. Like right now I, just, I want to join the Army, but maybe if the Army doesn't work, if I got bad knees, then I'm going to go to school for 3D modeling and CNCing and then maybe get a little hobby shop built up on the side. As the aerospace engineering teacher at the Career Center, my job is to help students explore aerospace a little bit better. Um, from hands-on projects, it's a project-based curriculum, um, two-year commitment, it's two-year program. Um, I have them as juniors in 11th grade, well, as juniors year one and as seniors in year two. Um, five projects include um, learning how to build an underwater drone and RC foam plane. So it's a lot of engineering um, and a culmination of that with computer science, computer programming, mechanical engineering as well. We have collaborated with the uh, Shaw Air Force Base. Our students have been to um, McIntyre. We're looking at um, the Sumter Airport, so as well as they've been to Boeing also. So we're collaborating with different entities that will assist and provide experiences for our students. We also have IPT, which is um, Integrated Production Technology, and which is another name for Mechatronics on Steroids. We had the first program within South Carolina. There's another program that just started this year in the upstate. So we're doing some unique things um, and offering some unique programs here. And these programs are not just being offered here. These are national programs, nationally recognized programs through um, SREB. So we're trying to provide opportunities for our students, keeping the staple things on um, programs that we have and expanding to newer programs as well. One of my students, I'm going to quote him, he said that it is more of being engaged the whole, the whole, the whole time. Um, we come in, we do lecture, we go over certain concepts, but then it's like you're taking those concepts and you're placing them hands-on to in action um, between math, the science, um, the drafting design portion of it, just making everything work. So once they complete that project, it's like, oh, now I know what you're saying. Um, from communication um, to research, you know, it's that full project en enables them to understand all the concepts together. I think it's essential to our society that these kids get in here and learn hands-on activities and understand how to problem solve. Um, they need to learn how to figure things out on their own. It's essential. I mean, to me, uh, technical schools are the wave of the future. 
So it, it should be the wave of the future for everyone else. We um, do APA format for papers. The students have to know how to write an engineering report, and so they have to understand how to do an abstract and the like. They have to know how to make, you know, um, presentations and do presentations and stuff like that. So people need to come and see what we have to offer. Um, there are other technical schools throughout the country who understand this and people are dying to get into those programs. Um, I know in particular around the Columbia area there's a waiting list to get into those schools and so um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just excited about the school. <laughs> I wish everybody else could see what we do and how we do it so it's essential to our future for our kids. With getting the hands-on it's really helpful. It's made me see that now like even though I like medicine, I really want to go into nursing and pursue that. I've gotten to learn how, one, how to be professional in a setting um, when talking to someone. I've learned like PPE for example, which is like, you know, sterile gloves, learning how to put those on. Like you would never learn how to be able to do that at your home school. Um, putting the gowns on and learning how to take people from a bed to a wheelchair. And I feel like if I was to get hired on the job today, I would know what I was doing and I'd be very prepared because my teacher did a very amazing job preparing me to go out and do what I need to do. The hands-on like system here is like my class is project based. So like everything we do, we have to do it like hands on. And my teacher, it's not that she doesn't teach us, but like she likes us to try to do things on our own. So she'll give us like a like kind of like a head start and then kind of follow us while we're going. To me now, it's not even like really a class to me. It's something I like enjoy coming to. Like I look forward to it because it's not like work. It's just like preparing for your future. Like because I can be doing that for the rest of my life and I'll be okay with that just because so many different things you can learn. And it's interesting because some of the things you're like, wow, I didn't know that could happen. It's provided me with something that I want to do for the rest of my life. So like, I think I said this last year, but a career is something that you wake up in the morning and you can't wait to do. A career is something that you live for. Because you're working to live. You're not living to work. And that's what a career is. So that's this. Aerospace engineering right now, it's a hobby, but someday I hope it can become a career because I absolutely love it. For the Career Center, we are providing a pool for the workforce here in Sumter, and we are getting them ready to go out there and they can start working right after graduation. We do have, um, we have students in our welding program where some of them, they're at maybe age 19 and they're making 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars and they come back to visit. They come back to visit us and we have them to talk to our students and share with our students what, um, what they did and what they're doing. And um, one thing that one of our students shared um, Tuesday night was that I'm 20, he said, I'm 21. I went through the uh, mechatronics program at the Career Center. I am 21. I have my house, my own house. I have my own car. And I have a job that I love. And it started at the Career Center. That makes a difference. Now, as for educators, you may not want to put that in there, but as for educators, I have students that are coming out that are making more than my teachers are making right now. You know, they'll make a lot more money when they, when they leave my program. Um, if they decide to go on the maintenance end, that can be anywhere from $18 and up. Um, if they opt to go in the engineering field, depending upon what type of engineer they want to be, so if it's mechanical, you know, it can be a starting salary around 55 or 60. If it's electrical, it can go up to 85 or more. Um, so it varies in that. So we do talk about that. They also get certifications here that they would not get at other schools. Um, you know, so we give them a lot of opportunities that they do not get at other schools. And they also get the money. So, and the benefits. Benefits are important. If you want to ensure that you have the skills and, um, and the, the pool for your business or industry, local business or industry, you have to start at some point. And I think, for me, this is a great place to start. Sometimes our students come over and they determine that this may not be, they may not want to go in one of the industries. But nine times out of ten, they have enjoyed their um, working on their careers, getting a head start, 
and a lot of them receive um, industry certifications that they can use in the regular in the um, job market as well but having an, a sound foundation for our for our economy here in Sumter the Career Center plays a big role in that and we would like to increase the amount of um, opportunities that we will have available for our students so that we can support our local business and industry.